What is up dudes and dudettes? Today we have an unboxing of Epic Proportion. Happy to have you with us because this, my friends, is the NX90 from Asus. Designed in conjunction with B&O, otherwise known as Bang & Olufsen, to be the best sounding laptop ever created. Have they achieved that? I'm not sure. One thing I am sure of, they've created an extremely religious unboxing experience. This box is like a giant box of Cohibas. It's like a giant cigar box minus the scent. Instead, it smells like a factory, which is exactly how I want my electronics to smell. Fresh, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, as we pull this out, the first sort of accessory we're going to get to, because we got to get to those before we get to the meat. And this is a little box that looks like it has our documentation in it. Why waste time out there? Let's get a closer look under the bright lights. First things first, we have an NX series driver's disc. This is going to come in handy if you ever need to reinstall the operating system. And after all, this is Windows, so expect to do so at some point. Next, we've got our user manual, which feels like it's a little better quality than your average user manual. But I guess that's what we should expect. We've got some more boring documentation, as always, some safety-related stuff. And the last thing in this pocket is our warranty card, which is less of a card and more of a book. Something to mention is Asus has a heavy-duty warranty, two years worldwide, first year covers accidental damage, as crazy as that sounds. It's got to be the best warranty in the business. Here is a restore disk for Windows, which is cool to see because most manufacturers don't include those anymore. And we have a last little pouch here which says, For you from the NX90 team. This appears to be some kind of special gift for spending our entire, entire monthly income on this thing. And here we go. We have a note here from the NX90 team telling us how lucky we are to own this thing and how they've made the best laptop ever. And we've also got some artwork here on the other side of it. And the rest of these cards actually ended up being postcards. Now imagine, imagine that. Family and friends look out because you're likely going to receive a picture of my new laptop in the mail within the uh, coming few weeks. Oh, and there's the man himself. That's the dude who designed this puppy. And so next thing we got to get into is the cables and accessories, and there are a lot of these. Why waste time out here? Let's get these under the lights too. First is an external antenna. This is going to be used to tune over the air HD stuff or analog stuff because this, this laptop has a TV tuner in it. Here's the power brick, which is obviously huge. It is a huge laptop after all. Huge laptop equals huge power brick, but I've seen bigger, to be honest with you. And here's the un other end of the power. This is, doesn't really need to be explained, North American plug. I'm in North America, that makes sense. Here's an adapter to hook up to a cable box or cable feed and this is an extension for it. Now let's get this beautiful box out of the way and get into the laptop itself because after all that's what everyone's here for and after I remove this plastic here in slow motion You'll notice the laptop is very reflective because you're staring at my ugly mug there. They're using polished aluminum, which is unusual. We've only seen brushed before. But look at that, baby. I mean, that stance is pretty unique. I've never seen anything like it before. Let's get closer. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a quick boot up sequence here, as well as give you a little bit of insight having used the machine for the last couple of hours. Um, first, in regards to the sound, it's not quite as loud as I expected it to be. Um, that, that being said, it makes up for it in sound quality. Um, you get some amazing stereo separation for a laptop, unlike anything I've ever heard before. Um, it's not like the volume is quiet or anything like that. It's louder than any other laptop I've had. I think my expectations were just seriously high considering uh, my knowledge of uh, Bang & Olufsen and their past uh, product history. Um, I also want to give you a quick rundown of some of the specs on this machine. First of all, it's got a Core i7-740QM in it. It's got an 18.4 inch screen that has 1920 by 1080 resolution. It's got a Blu-ray drive, a GeForce GT 335M 1 gigabyte graphics card. Um, it's got a terabyte of storage on two separate 500 gigabyte drives, and it's got 8 gigs of RAM. So power is not going to be an issue with this machine, but keep in mind it's 9.7 pounds. This is not portable by any means, and I sort of think it makes more sense in a stationary location, almost as a replacement for an all-in-one that you could pack up if you need to. Check the channel, subscribe. I love you.